to now breaking news right now. We just received an update from law enforcement moments ago on the search for six year old Faye Swetlick. Now that search continuing into the late hours. Let's get more of what we just learned from Caroline Colburn. Caroline, what can you tell us at this point? Well, Alicia, during that press conference, some of the biggest updates that we received were that Faye did get off her bus, and that was around 345, which officers say was her normal time. So she did get off that bus, and it was around 345 when her parents, around that time where they started to notice that she wasn't there, and then they contacted law law enforcement around 5 p.m. to report her missing. Now, another big thing that we learned here from um, Captain Adam Myrick with the Lexington County Sheriff's Department was that there are 90 uh, officials from all different departments out here conducting this search and that those numbers will not die down over the night. There will be people out here all night searching for Faye on the ground and in the air. They said that the choppers will continue to fly over uh, looking for any kind of um, any kind of lead they can get as to where Faye might be. And they're also going to continue using um, articles of her clothing and giving those scents to uh, dogs to continue to search and see if they can find any update on her. Now, also, I can show you behind me is the mobile command center that's still set up. And right now, law enforcement officials have left that to go continue their search. And again, we'll note that Faye did get off that bus. But law enforcement officials are telling us that if you have any information, the best course of action, even though there are several different law enforcement officials involved, Involved, from the FBI to uh, obviously the Casey police and then Lexington. The best course of action is to call the Casey Department of Public Safety. That number is 797-0456. Or if you just want to get that information out fast and you can't remember that number, just dial 911 and, import, and report anything that you might see. Another thing is there are just still a lot of questions here. You know, we had a lot of questions for law enforcement and there aren't that many answers at this time because they're still in the early stage of this investigation. They say there are a lot of things that they need to figure out. They talked about maybe looking at some ring camera footage that could potentially be in the area that could provide some leads. And again, using those canine dogs to sniff out the area to figure out if there's any direction as to where little Faye might be. And they also mentioned that 20 family members are involved in that search as well as some of the neighbors here. And we could definitely tell that this neighborhood is concerned and they're all coming together to continue to look for Faye. And again, we'll continue to bring you updates as we get them both online and the on the air. So stay with us. We're live in Casey, Caroline Colburn, WIS News 10. Caroline, thank you. And just if you know, we'd lost Caroline there, but one of the things that Captain Adam Myrick did confirm is that search is in a mile radius of where they think that little Faye is missing. So if you see this six year old girl, take a look there. We're going to put up a full screen. You're asked to call 911. We will continue to follow the story and bring you updates as we learn more. Well, you just heard from officials this evening again with Captain Adam Myrick on this case, um, and he was talking about the Amber Alert as to why it does not meet the criteria of an Amber Alert. And we do want to detail what that criteria would actually be with an Amber Alert if that was released. There would need to be a reasonable belief by law enforcement that an abduction has occurred. Now, there would need to be descriptive information about the victim and the abduction. Well, the law enforcement would also need to believe that the child is in, in an imminent danger. And one of the things that Captain Myrick said is right now, this does not, feed, does not meet that criteria. Uh, we're going to give you another look right now at little Faye Swetlick, and you can see that right there she has strawberry blonde hair. She has blue eyes. Uh, she was last seen in the Churchill Heights neighborhood. She was last seen wearing black, a black shirt and polka dot boots. Um, again, if you see it have any any information that can help out authorities or you have seen her, please call 911 right away. We'll have more news and weather after the break.